I feel like sometimes tasting notes on the front of coffee bags can be super deceiving. Let's find out more on coffeewithgpa.com. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on another video on coffeewithgpa.com. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already and please like this video and leave any comments should you have any feedback or if you try this coffee as well, let us know. So when we look at tasting notes on the front of coffee bags, generally speaking, that's the way that I look for new coffee. I have to try and find something that I really like in it in order to try it first. Heart and Graph Coffee have bought out this amazing Miriam Perez coffee with tasting notes of mulled wine, rum and raisin, and apricot. Now, to be fair, that seems a bit too good to be true. However, this is actually one of those cases where it's really not that difficult to pick out the flavor notes at all. In fact, it's a really, really great experience with this coffee. I've been trying it for a few days now just to find my feet with it, and it is absolutely delicious. Now this is a micro lot coffee from Honduras. If you're really big into your specialty coffee and you want to try something that's just that little bit different and that little bit special, you're probably going to get a huge amount from this one. Now the price is about £8 for a 250 gram bag of whole bean coffee from heartandgraft.co.uk. Let's kind of explore this a little bit further. Packaging wise, lovely colour scheme, gold and purple, looks absolutely awesome. Amazing artwork on the front. And as we said, those tasty notes on the back of mulled wine, rum and raisin and apricot. This particular one is a natural processed coffee as well. So if you're kind of big into your natural coffees, this is going to appeal to you in quite a big way. Let's just explore the beans and see what we get in that first fragrance in the bag as well. I know I've cheated a little bit by trying this out a few times first, but it's totally worth it. So as soon as you open up the bag, you are literally hit square in the face with this sweet, fruity, almost um, boozy smell. Almost like an apricot schnapps, but a dulled down apricot schnapps. It's, it's really, really good. If you smelt this in, or if you like, open up the bag and gave it a, a bit of a try in any coffee shop anywhere, you would buy it based on the smell of this bag. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, if we just look at the bean size for a sec, now these are a fairly large bean to be fair, but they are actually a lovely, sort of very light roast, lovely matte finish on them as well. And they do, it, it literally looks like such an amazing coffee. Now, as I said, I've tried this. I know what to expect from it. That's why I feel confident you're gonna love it. However, I'm making three coffees today, all based on the recipe that Heart and Graft have recommended. For my espresso, I'm gonna be using 19 grams of espresso. I'm going to be using 40 grams total output. So I am actually going to use a set of scales for this and be a bit more scientific to see if the preferred way of making espresso changes compared to how I'd normally make it. We're then going to make a filter coffee, all done through our Chemex, and finally a flat white. Just to see if having to play around with different types of coffee, you can still pick up all of those tasting notes to see if it is as good when you make it across a broad spectrum, because it is an omni roast coffee at the end of the day. It doesn't have to be just espresso. If you prefer your filter, this will work just as well as that as well. Let's make our coffees and explore what these taste like. Okay, there we have one espresso, one Chemex filter coffee, and one flat white. Now, I wanted to do all of these, as I said, because I want to explore what the taste notes are going to be like as you go to each one. Now, you can tell just by the look of them, it is a super fresh coffee, like really recently roasted, which makes a massive difference. Let's try out the espresso first. Now, we used the specific roaster recommended recipe on this, 19 grams of coffee, 40 grams total output and around a 28 second extraction. So I have used a set of scales on this throughout. It's well worth buying a set of scales if you haven't. They're around six pounds on Amazon, places like that. So you don't even need to spend a fortune. Now the first smell that you get is a bit like opening a bottle of mulled wine. It's, it really is as easy as that. I feel like I can already smell each of those tasty notes as you pour this coffee. And the room smells absolutely amazing.
and there's your rum and raisin. It's quite funny actually because the rum and raisin in this is probably your predominant flavour and it really does come through, especially on the perfect recipe like this one. Mm. And when it says apricot, to me it feels like dried apricot. That's probably just because I eat dried apricots more than I do normal ones. However, the flavour is there. It's really, really good. And there's almost a, a slight wine acidity that, that you feel with it as well. It definitely has a more, I say winey context. Whenever I tend to drink wine, I feel like it's got a bit of acidity to it, if you drink red wine in particular. And that's really what you get as an aftertaste, on, or like an, an after feeling on that at least anyway. Let's try our filter coffee. Now that really is that super fruity mulled wine flavour. Think Marks and Spencer's mulled wine on that. As soon as you pour it out of a glass and just give it a couple of seconds to breathe, that is the first thing that you get straight to the palate. It's absolutely exceptional. Mm. And it tastes completely different as well. So let's rephrase that. Not completely different, but it tastes different enough so that you get the proper taste feel from it as well. Lovely apricot tastes, rum and raisin still in there. Mold wine flavorings are the predominant um, fragrance that you get from it. Mm. And that is very smooth as well, very, very smooth. If you like filter coffee, if you like black coffee, that is gonna hit you right on the spot, it's fantastic. Flat white now, now this is gonna be a slightly different taste anyway. Done my flat wilt. I've done my flat white with my Oatly Barista milk in there as well. Think Ben and Jerry's and you'll be fine. It's completely different. So you get the oaty milk taste anyway, but it definitely dials it down a little bit when you're mixing it with these beans. But the flavor is really sweet, really, really sweet. You would never touch that with sugar with a barge pole, it's fantastic. I don't feel like I need to tell you that I like this coffee, I've gone on about it enough. This is awesome, this is really awesome. Grab yourself a bag from the link in the description below. Heart and Graft coffee, you've surpassed yourself. I really hope that you guys get to enjoy these coffees and I hope it helps seeing it from a point of view of three different types of drink as well, all using the recipes from the roaster themselves to get the truly best, perfect coffee from that bean. I'm gonna be set to go for the next couple of minutes. I'm gonna finish off these coffees in my own time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy these videos on coffeewithgpa.com. Look forward to seeing you again very, very soon.